Eric Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's England versus Iceland. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. Well, a powerful effort, but just wide. Well, it's impossible to escape the conclusion that Harry Kane is just a thorough professional. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. John Stones plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. This is the starting 11 for Iceland. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. It's looking promising. Kane! Oh, great goalkeeping! Well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. And there's the delivery. And that's very confident goalkeeping in not easy circumstances. And the keeper not thinking it through. Alexander Arnold. And players waiting in the centre. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. And he's got the beating of his opponent. There is the goal to open the scoring. Who can say they don't deserve to be in front? Well, just watch this again. Look how Kane beats his man. And Kane's strike is absolutely perfect. Pace, power and accuracy. What a player he is. Well, back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Albert Goodmanson. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. Could be! Well, it might still work out for them. And it'll be a throw in for Iceland. Still possibilities. I think it's fair to say he really should have been able to give the keeper a test from there. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Very quick thinking there. Bukayo Saka. He's in with a chance. And still danger here. And in at the second time of asking. But the goalkeeper badly at fault. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Johan Berg, Goodmanson. Hurum Thor Willumsson. Sigurdsson he read the situation defensively and did his job well, there is going to be stoppage time but only the one minute and so it is the first half story has been written well you have to give plenty
Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. A move of promise on the flank. Good looking cross. Threat over for now, it seems. Harry Kane. That'll be an Iceland ball. Successfully cut out. Finn Bogason. Teammates available. And a throw in for Iceland. Palson. So a half an hour remaining. He saw the situation developing. It's looking promising. Well, England have controlled possession, as you can see, and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch, and I don't think anything's going to change that. Chosen to go through Harry Kane. Options around him. Oh, great goalkeeping. Well, that's a top quality save. Great anticipation. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the goalkeeper made it look as though there was no pressure on him whatsoever. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Well, in position to make it a brace, but not to be. Well, he's certainly been a threat in this game. He's looked so lively. A strong goalkeeping after the corner had been delivered. Goodmanson. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Harry Kane slips it through. Well, getting boot on ball, but that's disappointing. Well, there was lots of power in it, but he just couldn't control the shot. That's a very poor finish. The pressure was high, and they could be in here. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. So, underway again. And England really beginning to run away with this now. The scoreline threatening to get ugly here. Clean challenge. Now space for England out wide. Opportunity. On a powerful effort, but not threatening the goalkeeper, and he'll be disappointed. And a double substitution it's going to be. could see what he was trying but too much height on the shot well taking into account all the stoppages two minutes to be added on might be a chance here and a goal there he is at the double they just can't subdue him Well, let's take another look and you have to say the defending is so poor that's far too easy the keeper had no chance there and there goes the final whistle 
very acceptable from an England point of view. A victory here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. As usual, Harry Kane, difficult to defend against. What did you make of what he actually did out there on the pitch? Well, he did everything today. 